spring.
family and friends, welcome to Western Washington University's June 2023 commencement ceremony. Please join me, join me as we celebrate the class of 
President Randawa, the university community is assembled for commencement. Please stand as you are able for our national anthem. We will be led in singing by a graduating member of Western Washington University's music department, Alexandra Orozco. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who brought stripes and a bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and Please be seated. <laughs> Members of the class of 2023, returning Western alums, faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates, welcome to today's commencement ceremony. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we gather today on the ancestral homelands of the Coast Salish peoples who have lived in the Salish Sea Basin all throughout the San Juan Islands and the North Cascades watershed from time immemorial. Please join me in expressing our deepest respect and gratitude for our indigenous neighbors, the Lummi Nation and Luxac tribe for their enduring care and protection of our shared lands and waterways. The flags we have near and on the stage, including those of sovereign indigenous nations, represents the origin and educational experiences of our graduates. They also include the branches of the military through which our graduating veterans have proudly served with dedication and honor. Our graduating veterans are wearing white stoles, red, white, and blue cards are also worn by some graduating veterans, as well as by the family members of veterans. Thank you very much for your service. Academic commencement is a centuries-old tradition. By its definition, commencement is a beginning, the beginning of a new adventure as an alum of Western Washington University. Over the past 130 years, Western has conferred more than 142,000 degrees. This winter, 579 students received degrees. This spring, we add 1,908. And 25 of our alums are with us today participating in these in-person ceremonies. Health concerns necessitated that we celebrate virtually at the time they graduated. But there is nothing quite like the experience of walking across the stage to mark the completion of a degree. We are so pleased to have you back on campus. Commencement is a time to celebrate, but also a time of reflection about values, commitments, and above all, the people whose dedication make this milestone possible. Please join me as we recognize those who have made possible the achievements of today's graduates and who have supported these graduates emotionally, spiritually, financially, and with lasting love and affection. 
I ask that all the families and friends of graduates please stand so our graduates may show their appreciation for your guidance and work. So if you could stand, please. Thank you, please be seated. Western's greatest pride is in the accomplishments of our graduates and the contribution they make to their communities and to our society. Our faculty help nurture this creativity and excellence, and it is our faculty and staff who provide the mentorship and support needed for long-term growth and success. Will the faculty and staff, including Emeritus and Emerita, please rise and be recognized? I add my personal thanks to this outstanding group of dedicated and caring mentors and teachers. In key leadership positions included with me on our platform today are our trustees, community leaders who, on behalf of you, the people of Washington, generously donate guidance and direction for your Western Washington University. The trustees present are Sue Sharp of Bellingham, Mo West of Bellingham, and Kiera Ryan of Snokomi. <laughs> Officers of the university on the platform today are Brad Johnson, Provost and Executive Vice President, Melinda Husky, Vice President for Enrollment and Student Services, Donna Gibbs, Vice President for University Relations and Marketing, Joyce Lopes, Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs, Kim O'Neill, Vice President for University Advancement, and Jacqueline Hughes, Chief Diversity Officer. The deans on the platform today are Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Research, David Patrick, and Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Paki Paredes Mendes. The mace from medieval times symbolizes the university's authority to confer degrees and is borne by a leader of our outstanding faculty. Our mace bearer today is the president of the faculty senate, Brendan Dupont. To bring you greetings on behalf of the faculty, I present Professor Dupont. Good afternoon. Uh, it's great to be here with all of you, especially with what looks like to, uh, a packed house, so I'm glad to see all of you here. Um, I suspect that many of our graduates thought that they would never have to listen to a professor again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna spend a few minutes with you. They gave me one last opportunity to do this. Um, I do have the great privilege of congratulating you on behalf of the faculty for this important milestone in your lives. You deserve, of course, tremendous credit for making it this far. But I also want to thank those friends and family members who have supported you along the way. As your names are called in a few minutes and you come across the stage up here, I ask you to reflect on the choices that you have made that put you on the path to this room today. Some of these choices represent what we might call critical junctures. These are things that alter the trajectories of our lives, place us on one path while simultaneously closing off other paths. And these paths, of course, link our past to our present and ultimately shape our futures. But I also want to remind you that these choices are usually not made in isolation. There are often important people who stand with us at these critical junctures. These are the people who have helped us make the hard choices, helped nudge us onto one path that alters our lives often uh, in profound ways. They might be parents, grandparents, friends, professors, uh, or others. And by the way, sometimes we don't even notice the impact that they had at the time, although their significance, I think, usually becomes clear upon reflection. And so what I would invite you to do 
uh, today is to do, to do just that, to reflect, to think about the people who deserve a share of this accomplishment because of their roles at the critical junctures in your lives. And if you can, thank them for their support. I would also add that despite the pessimism that pervades much of our public discourse, I hope that you are full of optimism and hope. Of course, it's true that we face some serious challenges together, collectively, but it is also true that we are, on average, healthier, wealthier, better educated than those who came before us. We have access, for example, to technologies that are revolutionizing the world on an almost daily basis. And we should be hopeful that this technology can help us solve the challenges before us as it has in the past. After all, it was technology, it was human ingenuity that helped us emerge out of the grinding poverty that has defined most of human existence. Only two centuries ago, uh, that's not too long uh, for, a, uh, for an economic historian like myself, so 200 years ago or so, the average person survived on about $3 per day, adjusted to today's dollars. I suspect that you will earn a little bit more than $3 per day, so that's the good news. But there's other good news, and that is I trust that your lives will be deeply enriched by the broad liberal arts education you received here, by your capacity for thinking critically, creatively, and compassionately about the world, and by the lifelong friendships that you may have made along the way. So as you walk out of this building today, a new graduate of Western Washington University, you should do so with hope and with optimism. The problems we face are real, but they are solvable, and you are the ones who will solve them. Finally, please keep in touch with us, the faculty. I think my colleagues on the faculty would agree that there's nothing better than hearing from former students, from maintaining those connections that we have forged together over the past few years. So thank you for being part of the Western community, and congratulations again on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Dupont. Western proudly exists as a manifestation of the vision and the values of the people of the state of Washington. From Washington's earliest days, taxpayers have supported their belief in public higher education and in you, our graduates, as the pathway for continually brighter futures for all. The people of Washington own, guide, and govern Western their university through a volunteer board of trustees chosen from them. To bring you greetings on behalf of the board of trustees is trustee Kira Ryan. Good afternoon, graduates, family and friends of graduates and distinguished guests. I bring greetings on behalf of the people of the state of Washington. As President Randawa noted, it is the governor and through him, the people of our great state that appoint a volunteer board of trustees, as, who then, as volunteers, steward the legacy of this great university. Speaking on behalf of my board colleagues, it is a great honor to serve in this role and responsibility that we take very seriously. In addition to congratulating you on your tremendous achievement, I would like to give you a charge from the people of Washington. Whether you are a Washington State resident, another, a resident of another state, or an international student, the people of Washington have invested in your future so that you may develop your talents, follow your aspirations, not only for your benefit, but for theirs as well. Today marks a momentous transition in your lives, the start of a brand new chapter in your independence, empowerment, and self-determination. It also marks the beginning of your opportunity and your responsibility to give back, to contribute to the social, economic, and cultural health of your community, your state, and your world. As you embark on the exciting personal and professional journeys that lie ahead, remember not only to provide pride that the people of Washington take in your success, but the responsibility that you have to think beyond yourself in using the gifts that you have been given. On behalf of the Western Washington University trustees, congratulations and best wishes in all of your endeavors.
Thank you, Trustee Ryan. Chio Aoki Kramer graduates today with a Bachelor of Science degree in Behavioral Neuroscience. Chio's impact on the Western community can be measured in many ways. She was part of several groups, including Honor Student of Color, the Mixed Student Organization, a cappella cl club, and the neuroscience research-driven students. Chio also met many prospective students during her work as a campus tour guide for admissions. In fact, she heard some students say she, she was one of the reasons they decided to come to Western. Please welcome your class speaker, Chio Aoki Kramer. Good afternoon. I would like to start off by saying thank you. Even though those two words do not feel like they hold enough gravity towards the gratitude I feel at this moment, for it is not just this moment I'm thankful for, but for all of the moments when I first stepped on campus till now. To my fellow classmates, congratulations, we did it. Yeah. Over these last few years, we have put in the work and we now get to see the fruits of our labor. If it's all right with you, I would like to use this time today to first share a story. When I graduated high school, I didn't immediately go to college because I was too afraid that I would make the wrong choice for myself. So instead, I decided to take a gap year so I could take more time to find myself and figure out who I wanted to be. In that year, I got the chance to travel around the world. It was truly an amazing experience. I knew that my first stop would be to travel back to New Zealand, where I studied abroad in high school, and while I was there, I would embark on my first solo trip. I distinctly remember being so excited for my trip until I actually landed in Queenstown at 10 p.m., and I realized I hadn't arranged a way to get to my hostel. I remember feeling so scared and stressed, frantically asking people at the airport how to get a taxi. I eventually arrived at my hostel, and since it was late, most people had gone to bed. I crawled into the bunk bed that was left for me, and I laid there thinking, what am I doing? I've never planned a trip before. I know no one here. I have no food. I'm all alone. Why did I think this was a good idea? I fell asleep that night feeling so small and so out of place. When I woke up the next day, I laid in bed and contemplated how bad would it be if I just stayed in bed all day and ignored the fact that I had no idea what I was doing. I decided that a walk around town would probably do me some good, so I walked down by the water thinking that it would make me feel better. But instead, I found a desolate beach with no one around. My walk that was supposed to make me feel better ended up making me feel so much worse. The one thing I remember as I was trying to calm myself was repeating the phrase, in order to grow, you need to step out of your comfort zone. And geez, was I outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> Fast forward through that trip, I planned different excursions like riding on a jet boat, exploring Lord of the Rings movie sets, and even going bungee jumping three times. I found myself constantly repeating my mantra, and before I knew it, it was the end of my trip and I didn't want to leave. More importantly, I was ready for the rest of my gap year and for all of the other solo trips that I had planned. After my gap year ended, it was time to start the next stage of my life at college. When I got to campus and knew no one, I felt like I wouldn't find any friends and that I would get lost trying to navigate my way through campus. I once again felt so small and like I wouldn't be able to find my place here. I told myself again, in order to grow, you must step out of your comfort zone. I found myself leaving my comfort zone time and time again throughout college. When the pandemic hit and we were gonna go virtual for just two weeks, <laughs> when I moved off campus and the independence that came with that, when I took on leadership roles in work and clubs, when I started to take my major specific classes and felt the most intense imposter syndrome I've ever felt in my life, during all of those times, I pushed myself to see the growth that was waiting for me on the other side. 
As we all reach the end of our time here at Western, I leave you with this. Push yourselves to, stand, to step out of your comfort zone. Push yourselves to stand up and speak to what is important to you. Speak out against hate, and especially at the time like the present where our BIPOC and queer families and communities are under attack, stand up for them and stand up for yourself. Push yourselves so that we see the future that we want to see and be the best success story you could have ever imagined for yourself. Don't be too hard on yourselves when the failures come as well, as that is also a part of our success and a part of our growth. Take the small wins and run with them until you've reached the point where you can look back at where you were right now, or even when you first stepped on campus to see how far you've come. Once again, congrats class of 2023. I can't wait to see how we will all grow. Chia, thank you very much for your remarks. Today you become alums of this great university, a distinction that is yours forever. To bring you a message from the foundation for WWU and alumni, is the CEO of the Foundation and Vice President for University Advancement, Vice President Kim O'Neill. Distinguished faculty and staff, alumni, honored guests, and most importantly, the exceptional 2023 graduating class of Western Washington University. Today, we are here to celebrate not just an end, but a remarkable beginning, the start of a new chapter in your lives as proud alumni of this esteemed institution. As you stand on the precipice of a world full of possibilities, remember that this is not the end of your journey with Western, but the commencement of a lifelong relationship with your soon-to-be alma mater. In the fast-paced and ever-changing world we live in, it's easy to lose touch with our roots, to forget the experiences that shaped us. However, I call upon you as new alumni to stay connected with Western and to nurture the bonds that you have formed here. This campus is not just a physical place, it's a community, a network of support, mentorship, and opportunity that will remain with you throughout your life. Success is not solely measured by material wealth or professional achievements, but by the impact you have on the world and the lives of those around you. Western Washington University has reinforced in you the values of compassion, integrity, and a commitment to social justice. By staying engaged with, the, with your university through alumni events, mentoring programs, and giving back to support the next generation of students, you can make a world of difference for those who come after you. In closing, let me say again that today is not an ending, but a beginning. As you embark on this exciting new chapter, know that you will never be alone. The entire Western community is behind you, cheering you on, and is ready to support you whenever you need it. Congratulations, new alumni. May your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and an unbreakable bond with your alma mater. Stay connected, stay inspired, and continue to make us proud. Thank you, Vice President O'Neill. Western's mission is to be an international leader in active learning critical thinking and societal problem solving. Our graduates are the greatest contribution we make to society, the great public good that we return to the people of Washington for their investment and confidence in you, our graduates. The diploma you received today represents the result of your hard work and perseverance. It is also a gift to you given by many. Your families, the people of Washington, our faculty and staff, and the many donors and alumni who support scholarships and elevate this university. 
Looking to the future, your most lasting accomplishment will be in the lives you touch and the differences you make. I am confident that with the critical thinking skills, curiosity of learning, and habits of mind you have developed at Western, you can make that difference and change our society in ways that cannot be imagined today. The world needs your passion. It needs your idealism to commit to causes larger than yourself. Your education will truly become higher when it is put to higher purposes. We wish each one of you the very best in your personal and professional life. We celebrate and congratulate each of you today and welcome you as an alum of Western Washington University. At this time, we will commence the formal process of recognizing our graduates and distributing diplomas. But before we start, I would like to acknowledge the students who passed away this year still in the pursuit of their degrees. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor those students. Thank you. Dean Patrick will now come forward and present the candidates for master's degrees. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? President Rondawa, I present these candidates for master's degrees upon the recommendation of their faculty advisors, their thesis committees, and on behalf of our faculty, I certify they have satisfactorily completed the course requirements for the degree, have met the high scholastic standards of the university, and have been approved by the Graduate Council. I present them for the conferring of their degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University, and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees, and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Putting the graduates today will be members of the faculty. Dean Patrick will read the names of the recipients of master's degrees. Recipients, please proceed to the platform. Faculty, please be seated. Presenting the recipients of master's degrees. Christina Yuri Choi Pierce, Master of Science, Science Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Sarah Elizabeth Birch, Master of Science, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Marista Justine Collins, Master of Science, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Griffin Michael Takeshi Tokuhara, Tokuhara Master of Science, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Navdeep Kaur, Master of Science, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Diana Meeks, Master of Science, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Dylan Montgomery Crooks, Master of Education, School Counselor. Kosal Jr., Master of Education, School Counselor.
Guadalupe Martinez Torres, Master of Education, School Counselor. Deja Marie Swetsali, Master of Education. Sabrina Noel Battingen, Master of Education, School Counselor. Autumn Comfort Lee McComsky, Master of Education, School Counselor. Jessica Paredes Strong, Master of Arts in Anthropology. Kirsten Haley Shervin, Master of Arts in Anthropology. Elizabeth Ann Baseman, Master of Arts in Anthropology. Aubrey Luana Patterson, Master of Science, Psychology. Rumilla Rose Smith, Master of Science, Psychology. Gabrielle Hope Wilson, Master of Science, Psychology. Jessica Ann Govin, Master of Science, Psychology. Hannah Margaret Dahlke, Master of Science, Psychology. Erica Tiffany Hawkins Lutz, Master of Science, Psychology. Zach Zensho Willett, Master of Science, Psychology. Brennan Matthew Risch, Master of Science, Psychology. Lisa Christine Oshachuk, Master of Arts in Anthropology. Please join me in congratulating these graduates who have completed their master's degrees. Thank you, Dean Patrick. Provost Johnson will now join me in conferring the bachelor's degrees upon the eligible candidates. Parents, grandparents, families, and friends, are you ready? Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? <laughs> President Rundawa, I am proud to present these candidates, and on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University, I recommend they be awarded the baccalaureate degree, subject to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments or requirements. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors that the credential carries. Congratulations. Please be seated. You may, you may proceed to the platform to receive your diploma when called by Dean Paredes. Presenting the graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences.
Natalie P. Greenberg. Allison Lehman. Asa Cole Herbist. Parker Duncan. Benjamin Lee Atkins. Liam Jan Chambers. Anna Guignac. Emma Dawson Elgin. Edith Charmaine Oppenhaus. Alondra Figueroa Cepeda. Catherine Dines. Milena Makiniemi. <laughs> Hannah Smith Durland. <laughs> Brandon Dilly. <laughs> Case Martin Dolmans. <laughs> Mara Easton Brewster. Jonathan DeBorst. <laughs> Katie Burns. <laughs> Kevin De La Forche Cow. <laughs> Andrea Ortega Ramirez. <laughs> Kelly Douglas. <laughs> Chloe and Francine Carpenter. Samantha Badillo. Aza Ellingson. Charles Lind. Marcus Benson. Anka L. Gorziki. Joshua Jason Blevins. Maya Valerie Reed. Areli Carvajal Nava. Aiden Corbin. Savikar S. Godet. Thomas Van Ayler. <laughs> Katrina Divina Garza. <laughs> Sierra Carter. <laughs> Jack Earls. <laughs> Sedona Ray Hope Herding. Chloe Jakubowski. <laughs> Isabella Heidi. <laughs> Michaela? Michaela Fry. <laughs> Destiny J. Reynolds. <laughs> Tulia Anna Casquiopo. Mary Carol Halverson. Ashton, Ashton Germino. Bailey Marie Gates. Sarah Johnson. 
Jessica Buffington. Reagan Leenstra. Kaya Ashley. Lauren Cross. Isabella Peterson. Annabelle Jordan. Miranda Rose Burns. Clemente Armendariz, Outstanding Graduate in Psychology. Olivia Hope Murray, Magna Cum Laude. Yang Ling Liu. Keely Jones. Daniel Lewis Johnson. Jasmine Berner. Morgan L. Harrington. Patrick Easter III. Jalia Amira Jervis. Malia Aliaga. Leanne Kibbe. Darby Ling Graff. Leanne E. Follett. Angela Jade Hope. Jacqueline Brambila Contreras. Kaya Jo Chappelle. Spencer Renee Hoffner. Sarah Berg. Jennifer Mary Davis. Sebastian Strauss. Kate Joy Anderson. Maya Risa Govan. Tegan Jones. Ruby Boss. Kendall Miles. Olivia Drieski. Haley Hall. Maya Russell. Benjamin Hochberg. Fletcher Coburn. Chloe M. Free. Madison M. Harris, cum laude. Kira Emily Braun. Juliana Asares Burns, magna cum laude. Laura Beth Geringer. Vanessa Jaden Sumabat Estrada. Mackenzie Kaylin Davis. Hayden J. Evans. Laura M. Gorsef, cum laude. Holly Rebecca Gerbens. Adela Machakova. 
Arcilla D. Davis. Max, Maxwell D. McCurran. Kalisa Graves. Trevor Anderson. Isabella Rose Conover Cum Laude. Luke Heine. Devin Bishop. Davis Moon. Stephanie Maria Meyer. Jack Tillman, Outstanding Graduate in Anthropology. Carly Ann Hur. Ethan McDonald Zimmerman. Lane Larson, Magna Cum Laude. Hayden Moore. Ryan McIntosh Edwards. Mira Danielle Hitchcock. Romy Ersom. Carter Elizabeth Bolamy. Robert Scott Miller Jr. Kara Laris. Jesus Soto Ontiveros. Kennedy Ann Stevens. Angelica Farley. Jared Hoyt. Lillian Fu Marie Frace Rail, University Honors College. Isabella Galbiati. Devin Olivia Matala. Kelsey Crane. Peyton Hyatt. Layla Carolyn, Lila Carolyn Clevin, cum laude. Abigail R. Middleton. Anya Siobhan Jordan. Megan Coomrod. Molly Meisner. Connor Murakami. Maxwell Ryan Beaulieu. Sam Mogden. Noah Christian Holst. Annabella Gibson. Andrew Hardison. Savannah Clark. Rachel Let's Wait a J. Brooke Fessenbeck. Maya Rose Bolding Hunt. Ayana Giselle Stewart University Honors College. Marie Fortney, Clara Hagen, Kate Havens, 
Ari S. Jabloner. Eric Jenkins. Samantha Carrasco. Molly T. Leon. Kendrick J. Allen Jackson, cum laude. Madeline Vandenhoof, magna cum laude. Johnny Martinez. Emily Shannon. Lily Morphy. Maya Engel. Jacqueline Johnson. Elora Danielle Jacobia, cum laude. Adeline Torres Garcia. Cecilia R. Hollowell. Rain Ploche. Andrea Alfaro. <laughs> Nora Hollingsworth. Bennett Morrison. <laughs> Olivia Dolly. Grace Wilson. Lily Hannah Jones Webster. Brent H. Matoba. Gwydion Mareth, cum laude. Olivia Sonicson. Jonas Larry. Madeline Nicole Parrish, magna cum laude. Aidan Lamb. Natalie Prosper. Kathleen Shaw. Devin Potter. Catherine Rose McCloskey, magna cum laude. Alexandra Christine Oberg. Joy Elorm Mordo. Elizabeth Ann Odell. Katie Davis. Maya Roxana Becerra. Jose Manuel Hernandez II. Tofur Manu. <laughs> Vivian Laval, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kenneth Robinson. <laughs> Marvin R. McGuff. <laughs> Seth Rogers. Orphan Singonsai Russell. Colette Royal. Robin Howe, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors College. Haley Hagens. 
Alexis Abraham. <laughs> Eden Saunders. <laughs> Samantha Mary McDuffie. <laughs> Emily Erin Wasson. Lucy Guadalupe Mallory. Skyla Jade Altman. Yeah! Emily Ann Smith. Madeline Jo Thompson. Alicia Snyder. Jam Young Kim. Zachary Elijah Nelson. CJ Tonus, cum laude. Tiana N. Tanis. Bryn Nicole Schaff. Giovanna Stewart. Quinn Mackenzie Williams. Annika Stenberg. Elliot J. Winrobe, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors College, Outstanding Graduate in Sociology. Devin Sherwood. Jenna Vandergaan. Jordan Walsburn. Yeah! Ann Balkman. Yeah! Isabel Hazel Tuska. Yeah! Gavin M. Caldwell. Yeah! Joshua Goodwin. Panucci Jean. Paris A. Short. Alisa Marie Woods. Morgan Wagi. Jacob Robison. Casey Lind. Maya Lester. Alyssa M. Zog. Pharaoh Pro Wong. Baylor T. Stewart, cum laude. Avery Ling Ongstad. Vivian Yaris Lopez Diaz. Emily Mariana Lima Kloss. Sean Sands. Piper Lee Parrish. Alana Sullivan, cum laude. Perry University Honors College. <laughs> Megan Violet Coke. <laughs> Chio Aoki Kramer, University <laughs> Honors College. <laughs> Faith Esther Gorman. Genevieve Barson University Honors College. Erin Hung Huing. Michael Kihanya. Ivan Bullock. Grace Liana Trimburn. Laura Rice. C. 
Sierra Curlot. Trinity Charles. Tucker Gibbons. Jenica Lee Staben, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors College. Emma Christine Jerome, Cum Laude, University Honors College. Talia Frost Belansky, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors College. Katrina Marie Senko, Cum Laude. Della Dimusio Moran. Shelby Ludecker. Celia Marie Hester. Lindsay Christine Helm. Emily Shadell. Mackenzie Kai Shorter, Cum Laude. Quinn Fane Leonard. Ruby Sylvester. Lene Pope. Nicole Nelson. Robert William Stratford IV. Aaron McDonald. Abigail Farmer. Sean Corris. Rachel Pyre Nelson. Magna Cum Laude, Faith Morris, Faith Ann Darnell, McKinley Ann Olson, Christina Lynn Carpenter, Charles F. Sukup, Caitlin Jean O'Brien. Allison Weber. Caitlin Shannon. Mirabella Ling Schutz. Sarah Margaret Spencer Cum Laude. Olivia Joel Tyler, Cum Laude. Arushi Mukherjee. Emma Paladin. Eileen Reyna. Frederick Longshore Neat. Katie Smith. Ashley Baker. Olivia Francine Meyer. Nolan Griswold. Jay Robles. Nicolas Mendez Gama, University Honors College. Lydia Valencia Fox. Alana Lael Flores McLeese, Cum Laude. Jasmine Walea. Zubing Bisesar Kupishke. Jonathan Zemwe 
way look. Calling Anderson. Kristen Mary Margaret Hopper. Caleb Starlin. Nicole M. Moriarty, cum laude. Victoria Henderson. Elizabeth Smith, cum laude. Thea Lillehlecht Huber, magna cum laude. Nico Haley Newbold. Dana Concanon. Vivian Som Davis. Evan Charles Walker. Mary Grace Watson. Jessica Zimmer. Beatrice Macano. Bryn Weinberger. Elizabeth E. Ibarra. Ruby Florence Sachs. Ashton Hamilton. Zoe Ann Roth. Lydia Jean Williams, cum laude. Aiden Lenz. Leif Dean Werner. Ivan Olvera Salazar. Kalemomi Nubi. Sierra Rene Upchurch. Karina Timmons. Evelyn Scott Murata. Lily Dawn Gondry. Peyton Norberg. Julia Clerman Lewitt, cum laude. Claire Glassy. Jasper Dorian Black. Kaylin J. Wire. Alisa Gabrielle Lucky. Hunter Warren. Sarah Catherine Pfeiffer. Isabel Jaris Anderson. Hannah Nicolette Clark. Carissa Kirby, magna cum laude. William Reeves Ochoco Peruel. Audriel Lauren Casizzi, magna cum laude. Annalyn Reyes Ledesma. Please join me in congratulating these graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences.
Graduates, if I may have you please stand one more time. And, and guide you in one last tradition around graduation. You may now move your tassels from right to left, signifying the completion of your degree. seated. One more note of thanks. I would like to express my appreciation to the many people who have worked long hours and served in critical roles planning and implementing today's graduation ceremony. Thank you. I ask that the audience remain in your seats during the recession of the faculty and graduates. It's a tradition at Western that faculty and graduates follow commencement with the memory walk ceremony. My colleagues on this stage and our faculty will lead our graduates out of Carver and to Red Square. In fact, leading us out of the ceremony and over to the memory box today will be Bianca Smith. She is retiring today after 23 years of service with the University Police Force an alum of Western, Bianca has not missed a single commencement ceremony in her time serving Western students. Before entering Red Square, Graduates will have the opportunity to deposit items reflective of their time at Western in a time capsule. Anything your heart pleases, like unpaid parking tickets, or masks you are no longer using, or whatever moves you, which we will later seal and cement into the walkway in front of Old Main under a marble stone engraved with the seer. We invite you to visit that walkway before you leave campus. After the completion of the ceremony, graduates will meet their guests in Red Square. Before the recession, I invite Alexandra Orozco again to the stage to lead us as we sing the alma mater. They will be accompanied by a string quartet, also from our music department. Please join in. The words are inside the back cover of your program. Please rise and remain standing in place as you are able for the alma mater and until the recessional of faculty and graduates is complete. <laughs> 